Hello everybody. I am right outside of the Hispanic supermarket um, getting some dinner because it's my favorite place and getting some soda from Puerto Rico because they sell it here. Yay. Thank you Key Foods. And I am not ashamed to sponsor Key Foods because they are a Christian organization. They're the owners apparently are Christian because they play worship music. They have Bible verses all over the walls. Um, you can greet the cashier with God bless you and it's just normal. Um, so we are like right in the pandemic situation. Florida has taken, uh, unfortunately, a spike in numbers. It's, got, it's been through a spike in numbers. And things are kind of like number wise, they're worse than when we started off. Let me take this off. Now this supermarket early on in the pandemic required masks. Some people were like all cranky about it, but time gave them, yeah, <laughs> gave them the reason and gave them, uh, was on their side. So anyway, so now it's mandated, masks are mandated in our whole county in Orange County. Let me sip some of this because some people like in their videos, they always have like a little mug of coffee, all warm and cozy. I don't drink coffee. I barely drink tea. I, you know, I don't drink warm drinks, um, but my Puerto Rican soda, Puerto Rican soda. It's a uh, grape soda from Puerto Rico. So yay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I look a little dead, I'm sorry. It's because I'm not wearing any lipstick and that makes all the difference in the world. Um, but when you're wearing a mask, it's not practical. And I, I thank all of you who have given me some tips as far as lipsticks that have staying power. Um, but I don't want a tattoo either. I don't want it to stay too long. When I get home, I want to be able to go and get rid of it and not have to fight with it. So anyways, I am here to give a gray hair update. Yes, fade to gray. Um, a lot of people during this pandemic have made the same decision that I made before the pandemic, and that was to let their hair go to their natural color, which meant to stop dyeing their hair. Now, I have always had a lot of gray hair because my family, my mother's side, um, they had white hair since they were very young. And so... I would dye it and I would dye, but I wouldn't dye it like a different color. I, for, there was a little period there where I fell into the highlight fad. That was a pain. Um, but I always have dyed it like my color, except for the highlight phase and the extension phase. Um, so my hair is dark, was dark originally, and apparently still is dark in some areas. I don't know what's going on. This is part of the reason why I actually wanted to experiment and let my hair go gray because I was curious about how it would work. You see, everybody's gray pattern is different. Like some people have white hair, totally white hair. Some people have salt and pepper, have more dark than um, gray. Some people's hair, hair comes out gray. Um, others silver, others white. Um, some even have like platinum. So I wanted to see what the patterns were in my hair and kind of like try it out. And I'm going to try it out as long as, you know, I feel comfortable and I feel like I look okay. So this is what it looks like. Now I chopped all my dark hair off, not all, because there are still remnants of my dark dyed hair on the very tips of my um, silver hair. And my hair is actually silver it's not like some areas are extremely silver and then i have like this rim around my head i promise you it's not me dyeing it it's just the natural pattern that it has which i want to see what it looks like when it grows out which around the edges it's dark now this is dyed but it's starting to come like see it's starting to grow out but then it's the dyed part now I'm making this video because there is a whole community on YouTube of people who have decided to go gray. And it 
was such a support and help for me to make this decision. We're talking young people in their 20s, people in their 30s, making the decision to let their hair go silver. And so I've watched a bunch of you guys and have been inspired by you and I hope I can inspire other people. So here's my situation. Last month, it's been exactly a month since I really cut my hair, like buzzed it real, 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 real short. And it still has some tips that are dark I don't know if you'll be able to see him, but it makes it look, see, this part is dark here. And then there's that, dark that. So it makes it look kind of funky, kind of 80s, you know, I don't know. <laughs> um, and since it's so short and it's starting to grow, um, it's starting to like stick up like that. See, if I leave it, boom, there it is, it'll stick up. However, my aunt goes crazy, but I'm a child of the 80s. Like I was young in the 80s. So hair spiking by itself, that's a win, people. That's a win. I actually like the spiked hair look. So I don't have a problem with that. Um, I don't care if it's like the year 2020, but I'm an 80s girl and I can totally do the punk thing until I die. I just put on some combat boots and I'm good to go. So anyways, so this has been a month of the buzz cut now i had been leaving i had stopped dyeing my hair for several months so i would say i had stopped dyeing my hair since i guess february february is when i started and so this is how much has grown out it doesn't seem like a lot but when you're waiting for that process here here is here is what the goal is. See, this is like more silver. This still has like, cause it was up front and I would only dye the front part here. So the goal is to be totally as silver as I can. Now let me show you, let me do, I can't turn around completely because I'm in my car cause it's the best soundproof and the best lighting ever. So here is, see, it's got like this dark, this black rim. I promise you that it's not dyed. It's really just naturally like that. So there's this rim that goes across and around. Okay, let me show you the other side. Mm. So I have no idea when my hair grows out, if I let it go long. Um, what it's gonna look like you know because with this part all dark and then the outside I'm thinking rock and roll I think it's gonna look awesome so I wanted to talk about the decision I made of, of cutting it this short now I don't know if I'm gonna actually take time to edit this video and add in pictures um, but I should add in the pictures of the process of getting my hair cut because the the stylist was kind of scared of going too close and too short because I, I know a lot of people kind of regret cutting it off, but I was like, go for it. So she first cut it into a really nice, cute little bob. And then I said, take it up further. And she cut it a lot shorter. And then I was like, you know what? If I'm going to go, I'm going to go all the way. I'm not going to go halfway because this like two tone is kind of funky. So she was like, are you sure? And even while she was cutting it, she's like, are you sure? And as she was shaving me with a and that's why I should call this video fade to gray because I literally had a fade for those of you guys out there in the hip hop culture. It's, um, yeah, it's that gradual buzz cut that you get where it's, where it's more hair on top and it fades out until it's like gone. So she was like are you sure you want me to use the machine on you the clippers and i'm like go for it girl and i'm going to tell you something about cutting your hair this short now i have had extensions i've cut my hair before and you know what it's usually been at moments where i am making a drastic change decision um or or just a reset and i have done this before and i had it short before and it was exactly that. I was getting ready for a reset in my life. And so this cutting of the hair is so symbolic. As far as Samson is concerned, it took away his strength. But as far as I'm concerned, it kind of empowers you. It kind of makes you refocus. It takes some of the attention away from the fluff, the literal fluff. Um, 
and vanity, but it kind of changes it. It's not that I've stopped, I don't care about how I look. It's actually the opposite. It's kind of like I feel more confident than ever about how I look. And the, one of the words I used to describe it was fierce. Another word is sassy. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I'm a strong personality and I'm, a, I'm one of those, you know, are you women independent and I'm not a feminist, but you know, I'm a very strong woman and I'm very sure of myself and I've talked about my skin condition and some of my um, right weaknesses, but I'm very sure of myself. I do have a healthy self-esteem. Thank you, mom and dad. Um, but I feel kind of invincible right now now I'm not saying you know obviously I'm a believer and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me I'm not saying that I'm invincible I'm just saying that it's kind of a feeling and it's like a certain air that has taken over me where I just kind of feel like you know what I'm owning it I feel fiercely feminine I I feel very much uh in control and I'm kind of like, what you see is what you get. And I've focused on maybe doing makeup a little different um, to highlight, you know, kind of like the eyebrows. So, you know, your eyes will be highlighted a little bit more. But you know what? I actually feel cute. It's so weird because you think, oh no, your hair. And this takes me to also my friends that have gone through cancer or radiation treatment that were about to lose their hair and how many of them just went for it and they shaved it off before it started happening. And I wonder if you've gone through this, I wonder if that, I know it's a scary thing and it's not something you do because you choose to do it. It's like something inevitable is going to happen. So you do it before it happens. It's like taking like a show of force kind of. I'm gonna take my hair before you take my hair. Um, and I wanna ask you a question. Did it make you feel in some way more powerful? Because as far as I'm concerned, that's how I feel. And I can see where if somebody does it with the right attitude of like, I'm gonna beat you before you beat me. Like I'm gonna win you to the race. I'm gonna shave all this off. And what this is, is so superficial and so unimportant that I'm gonna focus on what is important and my strength and my ability to get over this positively. I mean, I wanna know if you've gone through radiation treatment for any disease, because there are several diseases that, that have to go use radiation. Have you felt that empowering uh, once you made that decision on your own, not because, you know, it was inevitable, but on your own. I know lots of friends that have done it together. Like if one of their friends is going through treatment and is going to lose their hair and they shave it off, like their friends all shave it off. I'm going to tell you something. It is empowering, empowering. So as far as the gray hair journey, so this is like starting February. This is how long like the whole silver situation is. And in March, I believe it was March 28th, I chopped off the majority of my hair during quarantine. Like my hair was like up to here, kind of. And in quarantine, I took four inches off. So I looked like King for 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 Parade, for whatever from Shrek. So I had like this little Christopher Columbus bob. It was bad. And so then I went to the stylist when finally things started to reopen and got it buzzed. Get out of here. Get off my body. And so now I'm fading to silver. I don't know. I feel like I'm glowing to silver. It's like awesome. So here's my situation. Let me show you what it looks like. I can't wait till I can chop off all this dark part and it'll all be like silver. I wonder how my face is gonna look when it's framed by all this silver. I mean, I already have a lot, but I kind of like it. I don't know. So it is now June. It's toward the end of June. And it's been a month since I chopped off all my hair. And it's been several months since February that I started to uh, stop the dying. Mind you, I had only been dying this part and I had been leaving this part 
uh, growing out since I think December but the top part you can tell I mean all this is like the dyed part so it's going away slowly and I hope to share more of my silver journey girls out there guys out there there's nothing to fear I don't feel older um, I make a lot of jokes about my head looking like um, a rat because it because of the mixture of colors of hairs or like a microphone like windshield I think it's called a dead cat well whatever um, but I'm loving it guys girls I'm loving it and um, we have to love our processes and in this moment I am loving this process um, it's been kind of a revelation to me I mean I had always been kind of scared of doing it because I had so much negative feedback of people thinking you're too young and I've been single for for a while and are like uh, I know they're just worried like ah, uh, you know you're gonna ruin your chances and I'm like what chances like I have any but anyways <laughs> um I don't care you know if somebody's gonna like me they're either gonna find this attractive or they're not whatever and anyways whatever because I really don't care I am so busy right now so yeah so this is what's going on with my fade to gray I hope you like it I hope you feel empowered by the decisions that you're making it's quarantine it's time to try something new something different you're at home anyways Ding. I've actually been on camera a lot since quarantine and everybody was watching my skunk stripe bum, 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 because I minister at a church and I have helped pastor our senior pastor out a lot on camera online so yeah the time when more people than ever are watching our services online from around the world is when people are watching my skunk stripe so I said cut it all off anyways I hope you have a wonderful day evening morning whenever you're watching this and remember to try to find eternal truths in everyday situations I have found a little silver mine under my dark hair and um, I'm enjoying it I'm loving it it's like a surprise every day to see what it's turning into. I love it. God bless you. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay inside when you can. Bye-bye. Shalom.